everybody, we are Francesca and Andrea from Toronto. I'm a freelance visual designer. And I'm director of products at Ratio City. We're excited to present to you our data visualization project, Il Tempo della Quarantena, that we developed together with our teammates at the Fonda Co-Design Collective. At the beginning of the COVID-19 lockdown in Italy, the web portal of the famed architecture and design magazine Domus launched an initiative titled How We Live in Quarantine, the Journal. Domus asked professionals in the design field to imagine and submit their personal version of a visual journal to narrate how their daily habits and their relationships with spaces had changed since the start of the statewide lockdown. Domus involved both famed firms and young professionals from the whole design spectrum in the initiative, which made for a very diverse collection of artifacts shown as diary entries on the Domus's website. Fondaco also received an invitation we are a multidisciplinary design and visual arts collective, including graphic designers, architects, and photographers. All of us are Italian, but we live and work in different countries between Europe and North America. We spent some time discussing how to take part in this project as a team of seven people living in three countries and two different time zones. Since the initiative asked for a journal entry of sorts, we decided to start by collecting data about our daily routines for seven days. We kept track of the time we dedicated to work, food, sleep, communications, distractions, grocery runs, to better understand what had changed in our lives since COVID-19. Through a shared spreadsheet, each one of us was able to log their entries for the week and to color code them based on the categories we agreed upon. This exercise produced a wealth of data in which the dimension of time was clearly a key factor. This got us thinking about the concept of rhythm. As the rhythm of everybody's life around the globe had suddenly changed, we chose to try and create a snapshot of our personal experience of life in lockdown. We found it interesting that time in our data was not just telling us about the pace of our daily routines, but somehow also about the physical distance that separates us. A very obvious visual reference for this was musical notation, and we started researching that and other visual languages that were developed in the past from it. Key inspiration for our final concept was the obscure geometric notation created by Brian Eno and Robert Wyatt for the visual music scores of their Ambient One Music for Airports album. We organize our activities in six categories, which you can see here, and designed a collection of simple symbols so we could represent them on a timeline. Then for each of the categories, we define a grid, almost a sort of pentagram, spanning seven days and made of seven lines, one for each of the team members. This would be the foundation of our visualization. Being such a personal and intimate account of our lives in lockdown, and given the journal theme of the initiative, we chose to go analog and patiently hand draw the entire artwork. This is the final piece, which is titled Il Tempo della Quarantena, Italian for the time of quarantine, once again re referencing the concept of rhythm and nodding to the strange times we all still live in. Here you can see the artwork in greater detail, with the days flowing from top to bottom and a pentagram for each category. You'll notice at a glance that we spent very little time out of our homes, that calls and video calls were a main staple of our days, and that all of us were very prone to distractions. It also sheds light on some of our personal quirks and a detailed look at each category reveals the different routines and habits for the seven of us flowing through the time of the week. We are excited to share this project with all of you. It was not only an interesting experiment for all of us as a remote team of design professionals, but also made us feel closer at a time when distance felt heavier. Thanks for watching. We want to thank everybody at the Data Visualization Society and the whole team at Outlier. We'd like to hear your thoughts or answer any questions, so feel free to reach out. Bye!